replacing the old style door locks, which um, don't really lock very well. And um, one of them didn't have a lock. Well, two of them don't have locks. And one of them locks from the inside and it has the old style latch. Uh, not with the bur burst proof ones that are on the Defender, but with the Series 2 ones, they look like this and they have the lock on it. And here's what the lock looks like right now and you can see the old style latch so I'll show you what that looks like you can see here's the old style latch see it and um, it's got that little lock which I don't I never had the key for it so I needed to have my three new door locks match and be keyed the same now you can see how it looks on this side this little thing here I don't even want to touch it because it's loose and it doesn't really work and this locks it on the inside and you can see the old style latch comes down it comes straight down and then of course this has um, this has an old style bolt on it which you can see the old style bolt the latch goes into the top so that's not very good that needs to be replaced Here's the new style latch right here. It's completely different. So what happens is this is going to go here. And that's the new latch. And these holes are different than the holes that are already in the frame. So this whole piece has to come off and I have to drill two new holes. I've removed the latch and the shims you can see all the holes in it, but I drilled these two new holes here and here for this new latch to fit right here and here, see? That's how that's going to line up. And of course I've tested it with the, with the door, first putting in the door latch. Now this is the part two of the project. You can see the new, the new door handle at locking door latch installed. You can see the old hole and that is, this is on the, the driver's side, on the right hand side of the car. You can see the old hole where the old style latch used to be. That's the new style. And it locks. I have all three locks keyed the same. And here's the, here's the actual lock on this side. It looks pretty good. One of the problems uh, that I had with this particular uh, door latch on the driver's side is if I put the shim behind the striker plate, the striker plate is out just a tad too far. The, the, shim, it's, the shim itself is very thin. You can see you can see how thin it is, but it's still a little bit. It's just a little bit too thick. So I got the idea I'd that I'd make my own shim and I have a, a piece of this, just a piece of uh, steel strip with holes in it. And it turns out that the width of this is really um, ideal. You can see that it's the same width as the shim and it even has holes which line up pretty closely. So that's what I decided to do. I figured I'd just cut a piece of that off, which I, which I did. And now I've got this, which I'm using. I'm using it as my shim. You can see that the, the metal strip that I cut is just a tad thinner. So what I'm going to try and do now is uh, just use this new shim that I made and put it in behind the striker plate and hopefully that's going to fit a little bit a little bit better. And here you can see the shim really fits perfectly and I'm going to add the striker plate over it just like that. And it should give just the right amount of thickness. We'll see.
and here's the final assembly. The shim fits in there perfectly. Let's see how the door slams. And that's perfect. Now, the idea is, so this thinner shim works fine. Gives you the first stop if you want to just close the door partially and have it slightly latched. And then if you slam it, the latch goes into the striker plate all the way and you can lock it. The downside to these uh, newer latches is that when they're locked, they're locked. So you can really only lock them from the outside. If you're inside the car, you cannot unlock them. So you're basically locked in the car. Which I guess you could reach out the window and lock yourself in the car if you want, but then if there's an emergency, you cannot get out of the car. So these locks only work from the outside. Whereas the old style locks had that lever and you could unlock it, but that lever on mine is broken and I couldn't rekey it. So I just bought three new door locks and door latches with, with locks and had them keyed all the same. So um, the back door is going to be a little bit different. I'll show you what that looks like. Here's the back door latch and um, same deal. It doesn't lock. You can see again it, it just doesn't lock and that's that's the problem. I want to be able to lock the vehicle. So it's it's going to be a pretty easy swap. I'm just going to remove the four bolts and just bolt on the new lock. For the back door, I used the standard shim in here. And that works. That worked just fine. Same thing, you got the first stop or second stop. And then on the passenger door, I didn't use any shim at all. You didn't really need it. The way it worked out, it just um, it just fits fine. So first stop like that, and it's closed enough. And then if you slam it just like that, the latch goes right into the second part of the striker plate. So that's it. It looks like it's all done. All the door latches are complete and they work really nicely. Maybe that's just the way Land Rover latches work. I found a nice plastic cap which fit in perfectly. And it's seven, if you want to buy one of these, you can get them in the hardware store. It's seven eighths of an inch plastic cap and you just put it in the old hole. And now I've got a locking um, Land Rover latch for my Series 2A.